Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and if you own Intrepid, then you know the frustration that comes with these uh, player boards, uh, resource tracking boards that uh, ship with the game. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy fix to make them work a lot more smoothly. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Okay, so the way the boards come is they are, um, uh, normally when you have these spinner uh, boards uh, or, or spinner dials like you see in some fantasy flight games, they've got a front, they've got a back, and they've got a wheel. There's a uh, spindle that goes through all three pieces, and the wheel turns, and the front and back uh, hold together, and the uh, it, just, it just works. But in these... Uh, with these boards, the way they're built is the wheel is kind of like one layer and the board is a, another layer and it just doesn't work because when you're sitting on the table, your board is, uh, the spinner is, uh, is resting on the table. Uh, you can't turn it. The board, the, the board wants to turn is the board, not the spinner. Uh, and that's not very convenient for the gameplay where you want the board to be facing in one direction and the dial to turn as necessary. So, um, and the other the other problem is that the, this being standard board gaming um, chipboard material, it um, uh, tends to curl a little bit with um, humidity, and because you're expecting these two pieces to behave together, it just it does it just doesn't work. And they're dual layer board too, dual layer boards as well. And so that makes for a little, uh, it's a great, it's a great idea, but uh, I need a little bit more execution. So anyway, here's a quick little fix that I did. So the first thing you want to do is take the, if you still have it, um, take the uh, sprue that the tokens for the game came in. Um, I found that this chipboard is the same thickness as the uh, side piece to the right. You can see it there on the right. Um, that the dial uh, goes around. Um, and so what you want to do is the, you can see on the left side here of this picture that the top part of the board, this is now flipped upside down, so the top part is the bottom part here. Anyway, it's, it's a different size. What you want to do is cut the four corners off of uh, this um, uh, sprue, cut those off into pieces like this. Right, and then you'll uh, then you want to trim some of the other pieces to um, next to them, until you get four pieces kind of like this. And this material that this was made of is the same thickness as you can see here, as that side piece. So what we're going to do is basically raise the left side of the board uh, to be the same height as the right side. And so you're going to glue them on a pair on each of the four boards, just glue them into the corners. Uh, they're just gonna be lifts. And basically, like I said, this is making the right and the left side of the actual board, not the, not the dial, but the board, to be the same starting point. Then what I did is here, there I glued them down, and uh, I used the glue liberally, and I held them for like for a 15 count, and then moved them off to the side, let them dry, and did the next one in order, so. Um, when I was done, all four boards have their four little corner pieces attached. And this is not the end of it, don't panic. This is not the end of it. This is just the first step to give us a little bit of lift. All right, and using material that's already in the box, if you still have them, but most board game, um, uh, most, most board games you get are gonna have uh, probably the same size uh, chipboard. So if you have something laying around from another game, you could probably use that as well. But essentially you just want to put something in the corner on each side. So next I use some mat board that we have. Uh, you can get it at any craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's or whatever. And it's just, this is board that you would use to uh, make picture mats with. And this thickness doesn't have to be the same thickness as the other because this is gonna serve a different purpose. So what I did was I cut four uh, strips um, and those are going to go on the right side of each board. And then I cut two little, or four little rectangles and I cut those in half. And those are basically going to go to, uh, on the pieces we just glued down. And those are going to give, 
give a little more lift as well. So what, what we did was the first pieces were to balance out the right and the left. And these are just going to be spacers to go between the final backboard. So you take those, um, you're going to have four sets. As you can see here, I glued uh, one rectangle onto each of the pieces we already glued down, those little L shapes, and then the other side onto the uh, to that other side piece. So, so, so we're keeping everything, we're building evenly, kind of like Monopoly, we're building you know each side up evenly. And the long strip is going to want to resist because the boards have, the boards have already kind of, as they came, already kind of had a bend to them. So you want to get these secured on. So I used uh, clamps just, just for a short while, maybe five minutes, just to hold that glue in place, just white glue. Hold it in place um, to make sure it's good and secure. You know, not going to come off. So I literally put glue on the, on the mat board piece, glued it down, put some clamps on there. And I did that to all four boards. So next then I cut a piece from the same mat to be you know, roughly the size of the uh, front of the board, um, the, the side you normally look at in the game. Um, and then uh, to make it, uh, make sure it didn't interfere with the spindle piece there on the back, uh, I measured, and as you can see, this is upside down, but it was about 113 up from the bottom and 121 millimeters um, from the side. Uh, and I believe that's looking at the side that does not have the long strip. It's the side that has the uh, two small pieces that we glued on the stack of pieces there. Anyway, so that just get, that just gives some clearance. Um, but basically, what it's going to do is give it a little more rigidity. Um, and I, if, if this board, this board had a little bit of curl to it on its own, so I reversed the curl so that when its its natural flex was going to actually help straighten out the other board. Um, so basically, kind of like reversing the grain. So anyway, I uh, cut four of those, and I cut the one square out. I just kind of rough roughed out where that uh, center point where the pivot pin was supposed to be. And then just cut about a one inch square freehanded around there just to get it off. Uh, make sure it had room to, to sit without pressing against the new backboard. And when that's done, you can easily then just trace that same hole onto the other three boards. And then cut them all out. So then it's just a matter of simply adding some glue to those new strips and then mounting these boards on each one to the back. Um, and then I clamp them down again. I let them, I let them sit for a few minutes. I set it on top of a little dice tray just to kind of give it some support underneath so it wouldn't bow while, while it was gluing. And then I wanted to give it a little test drive while it was gluing to make sure it spun and see now it spins a lot more freely. So then when all four boards were done, they're complete and ready. They're a little more stable, a little more sturdy, not much extra thickness added to them. But now you can leave them in place on the ta table and spin your power wheels uh, or your resource wheels uh, a lot more freely and like i said they're a little more sturdy um, and you know you pick them up and away you go so anyway hope that helps um you know i like it a lot better um i think i think the boards themselves were a good idea uh, it was a unique idea i just think it's probably something that uh, may have been a little more cost prohibitive in the Kickstarter um, to get right and uh, needs this little little bit of TLC to make it work a little bit better. So uh, let me know if you found this helpful. Um, you know, comment below if, you, if you're going to add something or if you've done something differently uh, to make these boards a little more, a little more functional. And uh, thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.